Hello, and welcome back to the next episode of, I mean, I have to say Holy Roman Empire now, right? <laughs> um, we have grown a lot since our first episode, and I would say finishing off this war in Spain is our priority now. I will have a look into inheriting Great Britain. I know how great inheriting goes in this game for me. And crushing Russia one more time would be on my list. Maybe also the Ottomans. The downside is that I have to do this war now myself, right? There's no more vassal swarm. I do miss it. The vassal swarm is amazing. I'm a lazy person, I'm gonna be honest. So having a vassal swarm that just does everything for one, beautiful. But upside, the Portuguese are very loyal, which gives us indirectly colonies in the new world, especially colonies with gold. And yeah, I'm still sad about the Spanish, but yeah, what can we do? Uh, I mean, we're directly attacking them now, which tends to work too, right? But it's just a little bit more work. Uh, we have more military now. Okay. And for the sake of my nose not being as clock, let me just do this real quick. I'm sorry to <laughs> start an episode like this, but I feel like before I sound weird, let me just do that and fix it. Good, what do we have new now? I didn't check. Okay, new mortar. I, I like how I just immediately knew what the tech level was. <laughs> just clicked on the mortar. It has to be the mortar. <laughs> I've played this game too much. The, my problem with the game is that I, that I know it very well, right? But I'm lazy. So I didn't do everything as I should. Right? I know how I should theoretically do it. But I just don't. Because I'm lazy. If you like that too, you're not alone. I have like, I, I, I guess I made this game to my job and I'm still lazy. <laughs> I mean, anything, I'm not lazy, but video game, I, this makes no sense. This makes no sense. Okay, let me just pull forts everywhere. No ports means no rebels. I read this in the comments, I agree. And it's not like we don't have the money. Let me just run the game in the background because I want to gain war score. I've never heard any wiser words. So, this island over here. Is Canadian and it disgusts me I don't know why it slipped by me someone said it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the name because um, it's too embarrassing to acknowledge it okay but this island is in Canada apparently we know it should be nature -y, so we will change that disgusting can I oh yeah I'm at war I'm at, of course I can't pour Good. How are we looking at here? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Congo. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. If you, if you, you know, close the game, right? What I did, because I record daily. Um, it resets all of your peace things. And now I have to do it all again. Sad. No, wait. I want all of this Portuguese land. Why? Because it is pretty cheap to get. And otherwise, I'm just going to take the forts. I feel like that's the main thing I should just take for it. Anything else I would really, really need? Not really. I don't, I'm not that much interested in colonies. I mean, I could do this. Oh, I directly co Oh, I directly control this. I imagine the, the Holland? The, the Holland? The Holland -ish did it? I don't know. I guess Holland did it. That's the only real sentence I can say, right? Huh. Crazy. Oh, I have an army down here, by the way. What's your mill tech? You're pretty close. Okay, then I'm not gonna attack. I'm not mad. Good. Governing capacity is under control too. Okay, like, huge comment about it. that uh, how, how governing capacity works and how you can win max it, right? I agree. And it's mad how, how great this is, right? Um, that's all I'm gonna say. Picardy. You're like Savoy. Okay, Savoy, I know. You're, you're here, right? It's Picardy. I, I hate my geography sometimes. Because I should know. It's not hard. I'm just... Wait. Oh, I can embrace this, by the way. Boop. Uh, I'm just going to click through until it's there. I'm going to do the stupid way. Nope. Nope. By the way, why wasn't that in... Let me just play it in the background. Why wasn't that in, in any... Trade? Province. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. And wait, I just got more coal. Oh, I just embraced the institution, so I had a lot of problems without coal. Which means I will he have even more control over all the coal, because I already have most of the coal production. And not every province produces coal yet. So I will have even more coal. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be way too rich. Yeah, 
I, I'm way too rich now. This is this is sad. So I kind of do this like if I click through this and the thing is just in the way of everything, right? Like this is exactly where the state name is. So I can't see the state name if I don't go back. A little bit annoying. And I, I just noticed how many provinces I have. So, oh, there you are. Okay, good. Found it out. And now I can't make any states anyway. Uh, okay. But we're looking good for having this much states. Really nice. Wait. You got attacked. Oh yeah, just go. Continue to go walk down there. That's fine. Nice. Okay, but for today's episode, we're just gonna do a lot of cleanup jobs, okay? Getting nicer borders and everything. If you wanna see more episodes of this, let me know. But I would say this... Not this, but next episode we will basically end the series. Pretty sure. Um, it is a lot of fun. But I feel like we're at the point where I'm just too big to fail. Wars are only micro, it's not macro anymore. Like, I have endless money, I have endless manpower. If I want to, I would just buy endless mercenaries and win every war, even if I would lose my entire army, right? So, it would be a massive skill issue to, to lose any wars. So, I... Oh, wait, I did something wrong. I needed generals, and I have a list full of generals, so even though he's good, he has to go, because he's not on the list. You know who's on the list? JKN, the fourth. You're already at the fourth, it's so crazy. <laughs> oh, even better. And... There we go. Rex user. Wait! Breed Rex user. <laughs> yes, that's beautiful. Then we have over here, I might shorten some names. Gurus, welcome. And after the success of CRO and CR1, C2. There we go. I feel like that's enough generals for now. I have more on my list as always, but I feel like I can distribute them nicely over my entire armies. Good. Bum. Wait. Bum. And just don't die standing at each other. Good. How much more do I need to do? I don't know. That should be fine, though. The Congo might peace out at some point without anything. I'm still surprised that the French still exist, right? Just somewhere else. They migrated south for the winter, something like that. I guess they migrated to... Oh yeah, we also control Australia. Wow, I uh, didn't know that. How about that? By accident, I inherited Australia. Happens all the time. This is the huge Austria-Australia mix-up, I tell you that. By the way, I noticed I'm only wearing a white t-shirt today. This is kind of horrific. I didn't even notice it. I forgot to put on the hoodie. No. <laughs> oh, it's too late now. Imagine I have, like, stripes here. Oh, I have something to compensate that. Give me a second. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Bum, fixed. Who needs a hoodie? I have this, which is completely mixed up, but it works. But don't... <laughs> it's so twisted on my back. It's definitely not right, but that's me for making a joke about setting a cut, right? And it has to be fast. <laughs> okay, let's continue. I'm gonna get you, because you're cheap. Oh my god, they're really cheap. Le level 3 advisor, like, two ducats. Ha! Ah, that's... that's cheap. And I have endless money. Wow. Then let's pump it into projects. Done. Hmm, what could I upgrade to? The pyramids. They, they're useless now because we're advisor cap, but, you know, who cares? Can't make them any cheaper. But maybe some of these fa effects are temporary. Then it's good to have them. Yeah, I, I literally will pay two ducats for them. You, you can't go over 90%, that's a problem. Like, you can't make it cheaper than that. If you didn't know, now you know. It, it is really hard cap. So, nothing I can do about that. It is a little bit sad, but at the same time, I understand why they do it. Because <laughs> if you just have advices that give you money because you go into the negative with everything, um, yeah, that would be a little bit overpowered, would it? Anyways. This is Siege. The last whole lot of them is on this island. Then let's visit them on this island, I guess. 
Hello. It's actually my island. Get it back then. Oh, they don't have enough infantry. <laughs> uh, oops. Didn't siege it. Good. Are you giving up soon? Actually, yeah. They are remarkable. Good. Where do we want to attack next? I would say... Russia? Question mark. So we'll send these troops over. And I say this mainly because I don't want to fight the Ottomans yet. That would be a good end of the episode thing. But Russia has a lot of provinces over here, but they're basically worthless. Uh, I mean, literally they are. And these over there. And the funny thing is they can't migrate any more east because they need a connection to the capital, which they don't have anymore. And this has been Chinese for a while, these provinces. So I would, wouldn't be surprised if they turned to the Chinese. It would be very Mimi, though. Ah, they didn't. Very sad. Sometimes the yeah, this culture conversions. By the way, China is falling apart. Wow. Good thing I took the coast, right? <laughs> really good. Um, I sent my army away. Second later. Oh, yeah. Uprising. Oh, my God. This game. I tell you, this game really doesn't like me sometimes. <laughs> this game is just bullying me now. So go in there and do what you have to do. Convert these rebels to, I don't know, not being alive anymore. Um, very good. Then we can upgrade our navy. Oh my god, they're not just over there, rebels. Okay, I need one more general here. I believe in you. Do it. Take care of this. <laughs> Laser it away. Oh no, they merged. Okay, this will be a tough battle, I believe. Actually, just deleted them. So, um, I take it back. Apparently, it was easy. So, split all of you apart. Bum, 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 bum. Great. I guess that was the uprising. Very cool. Very nice. By the way, don't stand on top of each other. You will die. Good. I have something here I haven't drank yet. Coffee. Very good. Very good for the mornings. Very nice for the day. Too much and you will feel a little bit bad. But you will survive it. And for the ones who are really looking forward to it, I'm jumping topic, I know. Friday, a new video comes out on the main channel. It is Victoria 3. I know, scary. Ah, Victoria 3. Victoria 3, bad, right? No, but actually, it's good. It's a meme video. So even though if you don't enjoy the game, you will have a good laugh about the game. And if you enjoy the game, you will enjoy the video because it's gameplay about the game. So it's win-win. I, I, I decided to play both camps. I hate if people, you know, I, I was a little bit defensive and everyone was like, oh, the game is bad, Paradox bad. Because I feel like the game is not that bad, right? The game is the game is not the best it could have been, right? We agree on that. Thinking about Victoria 2, it's not Victor no Victoria 2.1. It is not. But nobody expected, at least realistically, didn't expect another Victoria 2. Because Victoria 2 is Victoria 2. They should, they should make a remake of Victoria 2, honestly. Just revamp the graphics, make better, better UI and set the hotkeys to modern standards bam you would sell millions of that you're welcome i sell, sold you this idea but uh, victoria 3 on the other side is buggy that's my problem with it. it it is not bad because of victoria 3 bad because it's not victoria 2 but it had a few bugs right at the beginning and it was kind of disgusting and they were still there did it get all of did it you know i don't think it should have got all the hated god right uh, a few people jumped on the, you know, YouTuber said something, so I have to repeat it, Train. But on the other side, it was nothing. It was not a clean release. It was far from it, right? That's my opinion, honestly. You will see this a lot of guides that people just repeat something. They heard it on the internet. Um, if, if you make guides, that's going to be a hard thing, I'm going to say, right? If you make guides, you sometimes feel like a doctor with a patient that Googles the symptoms, right? You make a guide someone writes something that information is clearly outdated or not even true and the source is i heard it from this person i'm like i believe that you heard it from this person but did you check yourself no why are you writing this comment it's wrong then i show him why it's wrong sometimes i'm wrong too i'm not perfect most of the times people don't watch my video have an opinion without actually checking this opinion or just like to be annoying that's also on the internet that also exists. Ah, horrible. And don't defend me in my comments, by the way. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get the hate for myself, okay? I, I'll fight it. 
it's fine. We don't have to start a drama about this. I just generally want to uh, trash talk about the situation once. And then again, and then again. I like to complain. Basically, I just like to complain, okay? That's me. If you watch Chaotic Austin, Chaotic Floris, Floris the Austin seems whatever. I gave myself a lot of names over the years, right? I just like to complain. That's me being Austrian, okay? Austrians are born to complain. If you if you if you have any Austrians in the chat, they will they will agree to this. I will be 100 percent sure. You just like to complain. I'm actually the worst of the worst. I'm from Vienna. This means I'm arrogant and I complain a lot. <laughs> uh me, me saying from Vienna, lost half of my Austrian viewers who are not from Vienna. Already gone. I can't believe he did that. He's from Vienna, no. You're not very popular with the other states in Austria, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> uh, so. I mean, what I could do, because someone mentioned it. I manage auto sieges. I don't like the tool because it doesn't split up. But I guess for stuff like this, I could just use it. But I I'm just too lazy to do this. By the way, I didn't expect them to be in the war too. So it is actually going to be a bigger war than I thought it would be. Good, I need a general. I have one more. Gurus, let's go. Delete them. Wait. Sorry for the cough. Good. Can we delete them? No, they get away. Very sad. Um, what is this? They're too scared to engage with the enemies. Just siege them. I don't ask anything else of you. Good. Can we end this war? Nah. 40 more points. Uh, you. No, wait. What were they? I thought it was at war with Congo. Did they leave? Did I left the war? Oh, I pieced them out. I white pieced them out. I, I remember now. I'm stupid. Anyways, royal marriage. Oh no, I missed. I missed it. I'm really sad now. Yeah, there, th three years ago I could have claimed this th crown. <laughs> PU is very punishing. Especially on 5 speed. I tell you that. Try to make a PU on 5 speed. No chance. I'm surprised I got one. Anyways, Age of Revolutions. What could go wrong, right? It's not like an absolute state that is united all of Europe. No. We gotta we gotta love we gotta love the age of nationalism. That's gonna that's gonna work out fine for us, right? Because you know the European nationality is very strong. Yes, there is no disproof of that. We just removed the holy part and we see it, something that could have had a problem too with that. And it was actually not nationalism, was it? That was just ism. Um Abolish slavery. Sure, why not? I have all of Europe now. I don't need slaves. The slave trade. I, I like how I abolish slavery and it just drops in worth by 40%. <laughs> Good. I swear I wasn't the main contributor. Also, Mark crashes. So, I will go to Euros because this apparently we have to fight now. I'm sad about it, actually. Because who likes to fight in the Euros? I can tell you. Not the Germans. Good. Let's go into here. And how much strong am I, actually? Oh my god. Is that wise? Okay. Right, but I, I have stuff like infantry combat ability that literally makes me a god. That, that you don't see in the battle. I literally have god stats and everything else you can't see. Because the discipline was actually okay looking at it, right? But the rest was oof. This nation is really big, by the way. Transnoxia is way bigger than I thought it would be. But at the same time, they can do nothing against me because I'm just so much bigger. I'm setting half my army over here. It's enough. It is just enough. They will not survive that. By the way... I'm um, doing this, doing this, doing this. Thank you, Pope. Using my points wisely, honestly. And four points away from this. And I see a nationalist uprising, which I don't like. So go over there. And... Yeah, it seems fine. Wait, why can't I go down there? Because of this board. Okay, you two go down. It should be enough to deal with that. You doing auto sieges. You do this. You do that. 
We control a war goal, which is hopefully something over here. I think it was the war of nationalism, right? The oh no, the the imperialistic war goal. So yeah, it's about the capital, and we control the capital. So that's good. Uh, I could take away this. I could take away this, and I could take away this. So all they have to think of with the crown, which is fine. Then let's take a mission. The mission is to build a cathedral. Why not? We have money, I heard. I heard we have money somewhere. I don't know. Weird source. Oh, by the way, uh, I haven't built any furnaces, so that's gonna be rich. Literally. Going into here, building a cathedral, that's nice, but uh, realistically, they don't really. They're not that worth it. But, you know, if you have a mission, do it. And what do I do with the mill points? I guess I might just waste them, right? Yeah. Nothing has to do with them, so could just develop. I say it's waste, I know. I'm throwing in there, that should be enough. Great. Oh, they're going down here. Need to wake up half of my Spanish garrison. Ah, I hate when they do that. Doing good decisions in war, annoying me from the side. Disgusting, that's what I say. I mean, if I go into his capital, I should be fine. Now it's admin points. I mean, admin points will be no problem once, you know, they give in. Which is five points from now. So, oh no, I go away and now the uprising is over here. That's not even my uprising. Go away. Good, I'm gonna develop Rome. Why? I don't know. The Holy Roman Empire. We could at least develop Rome a little bit. I mean, that's fair. Uh, go back. You're going in there alone? I don't like that. Good. Why are we still sieging this? This is disgusting. Use points. It's not like we don't have enough of them. You are sieging all of that. You go into here. You go into here. You go into here. Russia is still occupied. I will send you in to defend it if necessary. And otherwise, this war should be over very soon. Yeah, two points. One point. Yep. Good. Uh, anything else? Come on, top job. Truce expired with the Portuguese, and I'm actually still alive. This this leader got very old. No, wait, I died in the meantime. Oh, I I guess I missed that. But we got to keep the PU, which is very good. That means that we have no problem. Um, fighting in colonies because we have colonies, right? What I mean with that is that you know if we ever go there, we have like somewhere to start the invasion from. And could go over. We we'll actually fight for ourselves and don't even need to go there. So we took that, took that, go into here. Do you want to peace out? Yep, you want to. Good, give me money. Thank you. And now it's just Russia, and just Russia is already at 91%. Yep, yeah, that war wasn't too hard, was it? Good, Russia. How are you doing? How much you want to give me all of this land? I know, you would love to. Probably can't, but I will try. No, we'll keep such a small zoo of Russia. Oh, that's disgusting. Good, anyways, let's look to the other thing. Spain, how are you doing? Why are you still here? Come on. Finally. Bam. Peace out. We have now all of Italy. And we have... All of the Portuguese... Wait. Oh, they probably unsieged that for a second, so I don't get it back. Same with this. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm pretty sure it was on the list. Scramble for Africa. Interesting. Overseas Empire. Control this. I don't care about that too much. What I do care about is... Hmm... This would be nice. But we need less autonomy for that, and for this I need to steady fire thing. What is still missing? These two provinces, alright? You and you. I can't do anything, I can't reduce the autonomy, because I'm at war. Okay, I can change that. Actually, I can. Or this happens. Ah! Do this. Good. Anyways, uh, core all of this. This is why I have admin points. And I immediately gain more uprisings because I have a little bit too much... Uh, aggressive expansion? No, the other thing. What's it called again? Overextension. There you go. <laughs> Nearly said it right. Come on. Give, don't give me too much slack. That was, that was close enough. So we have... Uprisings, which are... Bad. How many of these events can I get? 
What? Could you calm down for a second? No, I, I, I'm not gonna click this anymore. Pest rewards. Such a pest. That's what I say about it. I don't care if it's a funny joke or not. It's annoying. So, take care of that. Oh my god, that army is weakened. Barely won. Barely. Oh my god. Who is that? Oh, I follow you. You nearly won. You, that was very close. I'm gonna be honest. You were about to lose your entire army. All I'm gonna say. Good. If you're already overextended, why not go in deeper? That's why I like to say. Um, call of this two. Thank you very much. We now have 240 overextension, which is quite a normal number, right? I didn't see any problem with that. They don't have any leader and fight, so it will probably die. They won. I don't like the amount of uprising noises I hear right now, so... Um, yeah. Good thing we're not at war anymore, because we're at war with our own land. Again. Must be a Tuesday then. Crazy. <laughs> okay, let me get this under control. <laughs> it's a little bit disgusting. Good thing we built the forts, right? By the way, I got a merchant from somewhere. Um, do a collect over here? Yes. So let's transport. The allied British. I mean, I will not pew them many times, so why not? Uh, if you bring this game to an end, let's just accept the British as also an empire that we don't care. They Brexited out of the HRE, it's fine. I know they were never in it. But for the joke to work, I have to make this. Um, good. Uh, I lost an army because a rebel stack spawned on top of a very weak army, which means this army doesn't exist anymore. Oh yeah, it was your very weak army, F. Oi, Polly, I'm very sorry. You lost an army. Good. Get this, get it. <laughs> this would be way more fun if I wouldn't hear an uprising. Do you see how many uprising I choose? Look at this! What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Is it because of that? Must be an event chain. The good thing is, I did build forts everywhere. So I'm kinda safe. The bad news is, map be like very hostile. Remember when I said I should just build merchants when I lose? A uh, merchants, a uh, mercs when I lose? The time has come. I will get the three different companies that I have and will use them. And a new recruitment wave for my empire. Firstly, Blado, the third. You're welcome. You're now in my service. The real Kakarutu. The bringer of bad news in the comments when it's about islands. <laughs> There you go. Wait. Why doesn't it work? Actually, why doesn't it work? Oh! That, are you joking? <laughs> I spanned. It copied, it copied the five. Yes. I'm Polio. The fifth. I will say it's crazy that we have the fifth now, which means I do this for a while now, apparently. So, I have to get a new idea for net longer playthroughs now, because it's getting out of hand. And... Ba, 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 ba. On the island, if something happens, last general. I'll not say your name, but I will put you there because I feel like it could be a bad word for you too. But there you go. I appreciate the amount of services. Let's go. Let's clean this up. Oh no. I feel like every tick I get more rebels than I can build armies. Not good. It's really disgusting what's happening there. Can I just say this shouldn't have happened like that? Like, not this radical? I'm a little bit surprised. I never had this in a game before, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, how are you very able to form... Because you have this? How are you able to form the Jing? Sorry, the Queen. Uh, what? Oh my god. I thought this would be an episode where we just conquer, but... Apparently not. Look how many rebels I get per tick. Look at that. This is crazy. I mean, it does say Age of Revolutions, right? Mm -hmm. So our main mission now. I can I can do one thing, right? I can accept the demands of 
the particularists, right? I can accept these. What I can't accept is the nationalists, because the nationalists would really do some pain for us. So we could go in. We could accept autonomy, which sucks, but you know. And bum. And this way we have a clearer map. And now we know what to focus on. Because the other rebels really hurt us. If they break free, we will have literally a lot of losses. I just hope there is no event chain in combination that we will get more particulars rebels, because accepting the demands should stop the uprising. In theory. If it doesn't, I'm actually gonna be a little bit mad at Paradox. What is this? There, 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 ain't, there aren't even this many nations in Europe. Restrict degrees, selecting will increase the likelihood of center of a revolution, the Holy Roman Empire. You know what? I will become the revolutionary Holy Roman Empire, and you can't stop me. I feel like it's the only way to save this. <laughs> to go the revolutionary path. How many rebels do I get? What is this? What? Look at that. This is disgusting. I don't care about this island, though. Uh, you go down here. I don't have that much armies. So I will just get a rebel suppression force and I will pull them like everywhere. Everywhere I can at least. I guess mostly Germany because the other provinces will likely rise up very soon. I don't care if we lose some forces along the way, but we have to crush them. I died. Not good. I have to get the land. Oh, I have to go to get into South Italy because this needs to be caught. Kind of a priority, isn't it? These armies are so weak, though. Look at that. They have barely any infantry left. Ah, and the, the moment I go into the walk in, I already lost an army. Because I watched, like, looked away for a second. You help here. You get him. Let's go. This is really disgusting. Good. Bum, 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 bum. Normally I would pretend I have fun, but I'm really pissed. <laughs> um... So, let's go into here. Okay, please take care of that. Yes, 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 yes. Mechanic-wise, you take a lot of land out of nowhere, your entire empire. I'm angry. I have been under this for years and years, and my culture has been accepted, and I've been integrated. But you know what? They has been taking a piece of land 200 kilometers from now, uh, from here. I am angry. I'm like, yeah, sure. Makes sense. That's a mechanic that's fun. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. So we have a new... Even Germany now. Why? Should be good enough. Zero 2. I need you for suppression. Let's go. How we're looking. Uh, not even one third. That's good. Around the first four... Uh, I need it down here. You go into here. How many? I, I, this is Mentonese. I don't Literally, every culture group that exists, or every nation, not even culture group, there aren't that many cultures, just rises up in my empire. This is disgusting. This is really disgusting. And I think they've changed it, because it wasn't that hardcore. Like, quote unquote, back then. Last time I overextended, which is... I don't know when. I don't know if this is the Age of Revolutions that does that. But it wasn't that bad. It was far from it. It is, yeah, you get uprisings. But, you know, they happen a few years after you conquered. Because, you know, the... The Andres has to go up. Right? They, they, but this was just, bam, war over, dead. I'm kind of pissed. So, so we go here, we go here. I should have just released them uh, as a what is it called? Satellite state, right? 
No. Oh. You had a mission somewhere else. Which troops did I select now? You, right? Yeah. Go over here. I mean, I cleaned up France mostly, right? I'm about to secure my capital city. Uh, the problem states are the Russian ones over here, which I'm trying my best to clean up. And the over here in Anatolia. And the Balkan. Uh, but that's the Balkan. So, you know, Balkan, it's a Monday. It's normal. We were just lucky so far. Southern Italy, we need... I don't regret building all the forts, right? Love the comet. Amazing idea. Saved me a lot of trouble here. Updating all my forts was amazing. Because the rebels don't have a lot of cannons, which means the forts are not as bad. Also, accepting the demands of the rebels with the autonomy was very bad, but at the same time, it saved my ass. After all of this is over, we can reduce autonomy again. I don't care. It's fine. But for now, it saved us. And for now, it saved us is all we need. Sometimes you have to take measures you don't like to get results that you want to have in the long run. Uh, I guess you... Why, why are you stuck in here? You can't move anywhere. Is there a fort here? Oh, you're in autonomous siege mode. Stop that. You go into here. That's good. You go into here. Oh, I have still two armies in here. Get out of there. We have to show the other empires that we're still strong, okay? And I'm less annoyed now because I get it under control. On the other side, this is still ticking up. Uh, and I still would become, the, at the end, it would be a cool end for the series if we become the revolutionary, revolutionary Holy Roman Empire, right? That would be fun. That would actually be fun. <laughs> but, yeah, besides that, why not? It's... I like the sound of it. Main reason why I do it. Probably. So you go over here now. They conquered two forts over here. Oh my god. It's gonna be annoying to get it back. So let's liberate Rome. It's kinda in our name, so we should at least do something about it. Then ba -ba 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 -bum. I feel like everyone rose up, so no one can't rise up anymore, right? Like literally. Let's check the rebel list. There's still a few nations, like Moldavia will still rise up. But yeah, basically everyone already rose up, so no one can rise up anymore, because everyone is already dead. Who did? Or is still currently rising up, to be sure. I'm still speculating they could win this. I'm laughing about thinking about it, because it will not happen, but it theoretically could. So, gave me this fort back. And now removed these rebels from my Caucasus. Good. You go into the Balkan, help with that. There's a lot of trouble over there. And that's the these Moldavian rebels. There you go. <laughs> uh, I hope you can enjoy this episode. Because <laughs> I'm really suffering. I can give you that. If you enjoy suffering, this is the episode for you. Came a little bit late, but we could still storm. Yeah, good. It's actually a very lucky storm. Talking about I don't want to micro also has to fight the entire empire with armies. Oh, I think this was the biggest micro in a long time. At least with this playthrough. So if Phoenix you go over here, I kind of have to use my generals where they are needed. So I'm flipping them around a lot. Ay ay ay. And we're starting to core everything. That's good. Reminds me, I have to go to Southern Italy, where most of the cores are. And most of the rebels are too. 100 and something. Something doesn't sound too good to me. Um, you seem safe. Okay, you go into here now. Okay, what do we take? Awesome diplomacy. Why not? It's a meme. Uh, yeah, wouldn't have gotten this crown anyway. So, fighting in the mountains. Our specialty. Big problem is I have no infantry left in these armies. It's just cannons. They survive long. Why do you beat the mountain province so fast? You took forever. Oh my god. I do this, and then I split you in two. So you can slowly regenerate. This is fine. By the way, we were very lucky. The construction work didn't stop, but for the recording of this episode, it just... Stop. 
Like, it's still going on next to my apartment, right? But... Apparently, they heard I was recording and they stopped. That must be it. Good. This is all fine. Nearly everything under control again. Get more infantry out if you need to. Uh, you support it if it fails. Edge, it's not failing. Good. We're winning. Oh. oh, we still have Malta to care of, so drop them off. Ay, 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 ay. That was fun. We're still not completely done with the Russian provinces. I'm gonna be honest, but we're getting there. A few more small uprisings. And I forgot about Scandinavia, right? So let's save uh, Stockholm from any further uprisings. You go into here. Fantastic. I'm kept on dip points, I know. Someone is crying about it. You write in the comments right now. I know, don't. Um, I had other things to do, though. This is actually a funny endgame crisis. Because it was a challenge. On the other side, I was really scared. <laughs> and that is why I was angry. Uh, cause there were more... Like, if you, if you get 20 uprising notes per tick, you start to shit your pants, I'm gonna be honest. Right? And there was no end in sight, so I thought, you know, this is how it will fall apart. But on the other side... We are still here. The rebels aren't. We should do this again. This was fun. <laughs> no. No, we will not. I will release satellite states from now on. So Stockholm here gets some militarism. Uh, this is all fine. Integrate all you can. Why can't I integrate you? Are you being converted right now? Yeah, you are. Makes sense then, I guess. But look at that. So. I got to finish a mission thanks to this. Industrialize the Rhineland. Ah. We got it. Then. Oh, it's just three points. Cool. I take it. What missions haven't been done? Yes. Holy Roman Empire is the strongest trade power. Uh, the strongest trade node is in Vienna. So I have to cipher everything to Vienna. Or I change my capital over there. Which is kind of a disgusting idea which I won't do. But I could. And... Bum, 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 bum. Let me double check everything. Where's all the trade coming from? Here? Not here. Oh, I'm doing nothing with that. Giving it to the British for free. And we will stop that. You go in there. Go back. I think maybe you got punished out of that. Could be. Uh, we're making 2,000 targets a tick. What is this? This is actually disgusting. A lot. It's, it's a lot. Look at my money. It is disgusting. Oh, I still see an uprising here. Okay, bum. Just land there, come on. Don't be lazy. Relance, I appreciate your service. You did great on the islands. You thought I punished you over here, but not, not at all. I wanted you to be somewhere safe. Oh my god, that's a lot of... Ah, now all the rebels come that I forgot about. Uh, what are you? No, not... Okay. Forgot about the African colonies, I'm gonna be honest. Nothing here, nothing here. Ah, that's bad. At least they can't do anything about it. Uh, pop, 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 pop. I need an army really quick. And board it and bring it over to... India. Good. Sure, I have a little bit of crown land. And then you go over there. Hey, thanks to the Swiss channel, we can get the quick ride. So we could actually get this in time. This is on the other side. Eh, harder. I thought, uh, in all of this, I forgot about Africa. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, it was not my main priority. And I'm not actually too annoyed if they actually break free. Good. Korea is rising up, but that's new. Tunis. And these are, I think you are in India and you are here. <clears throat> Oyo. Wait. Sound like I had a frog in my throat. Not good. Good. We are about to be here. And then we'll take 
my fleet to Africa. Breaking down a priority list. Icelandic? Oh my god. Okay. Iceland higher priority than Africa. I'm gonna be honest. Because that's in my sphere of influence. Dude, do you hate me? Would you give me military access? You wouldn't. If I declare war on you, would I get military access? Yes, I would. Cool. I would bid war with Great Britain, though. Why? Why would you guarantee them Great Britain? That's disgusting. I don't understand the AI sometimes. <laughs> I just saw the time of the recording. Oh my god. This is just very long suffering. I didn't even got to attack the Ottomans. This is so sad. So, how many transport chips? I have so many transport chips. I, I, I have to think more logical. Just split them in half. Yeah, half of you go over here. The other half goes back to Europe. Bam. Then we can fix both, maybe. Uh, I think it's just ticking up very fast. And uh, Tunis. Yeah, Tunis is also a problem. You don't want going to Africa, right? Yeah, just do this real quick in the meantime. Good. Now continue going down here. Ay, 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 ay. Good. Core this now. And uh, it's all caught now. <laughs> that was fun, right? So, they have reconquered this. Then where are my ships on the way? Good. Go up to Iceland. They're also nearly here. Great. I feel like we can win this all, right? Iceland. Ah, yes. Malacca. Oh, we also have to go over here. Good. I will send a uh, garrison down there. Maybe the one is clearing up Iceland right now, actually. On top of them. Great. Bum, bum, bum. All dealt with. Amazing. Good. That was kind of disgusting to deal with. Uh, but we did it. <laughs> I'm kind of happy. Because it kind of had the best outcome of all. We lost a little bit of autonomy. But we're still madly rich. And I keep the empire. Which is an absolute win. And yes, I will clean up all the rebels before I end the episode. Otherwise, I will forget about it next episode. And the main problem with the episode is that I have way too much points to put into provinces. So I'm just going to waste them all into Vienna. And don't care about it anymore. We, I'm not even going to put the edict there because I just literally want to waste the points. If I don't have the points, you can't complain about me not using the points, okay? Easy with. <laughs> okay, uh, I've got to upgrade all of these forts and build even more because, you know, recent research has shown that forts are very helpful against rebels. And I literally breathe money out, right? Like, I, I, I just money in such an extraordinary amount that I don't have to care about maintenance which is amazing um, where are you going I sent you over here right okay so you can pick up how many troops a lot great good one repair tick bump great fully repaired go over here go to Malacca beautiful ay 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 that was fun <laughs> Ah, but I imagine next episode could be the last one. Uh, we look very cool over here. This is a little bit very big, I have to say, but hey, it was a lot of fun. Not the rebels, but the uniting the HRE thing with the vassal swarm. I missed the vassal swarm. Know what a vassal swarm wouldn't have done? Re revolt, right? So, oh no, oh it's a, it's in Portugal. Okay, then I don't, don't care. I'm not Portugal. That's a Portugal problem. Hello? Can you land the troops? Oh no, they... I thought they were already here. <laughs> okay, now they can land. Good. Bam. Solved. Now let's go to Korea and then all of this is solved. Finally. <laughs> so, go to Korea. Bam. One more uprising. No! Oh, it's Jerusalem, Peasant Revolt. That's not my problem. Okay, until next episode. Love you all. Bye-bye.